Thank you guys for clicking on the video today. Uh, this is going to be the first video of a new series that I am filming. The uh, brief explanation for what this video series is, is I'm going to be modifying my Subaru um, through the stages, stage one through four or X or whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're going to be comparing the power difference between those stages. Uh, and I'm going to be showing you how to tune between those stages, what parts are required for those stages, how much power it makes using virtual dyno and uh, how much time that translates on the drag strip in the real world. So for each stage, we're going to be doing tuning, uh, virtual dyno and drag strip. So it should be fun. It should be a, a neat way to see the comparison between the stages and maybe it'll help you guys decide how far you guys want to go with your Subaru builds. Without further ado, let's get into part one uh, of this video of this video series. So this is going to be the introduction to this video series as well as um, sort of showing you the baseline where we're starting. So right now my car is stock. It's not entirely stock, but it is pretty much essentially stock. So what the car has right now at the moment that makes it not stock is it has a catback exhaust that I made. So it's a three inch to two, two and a half inch pipes. Um, and then it has Brian, Clow Brian Crowler stage two cams and um, valve train. So the stage two cams, the valve springs, the, um, the valves themselves. And then I have the forged rotating assembly and it has a stock tune. So the car's running on stock tune with those parts. Um, you're not gonna get any power advantage from stage two cams if you have a stock tune and stock bolt-ons so um, I don't think that's really affecting the power that much um, if anything it might be making it worse uh, and then the cat back exhaust you know I think I feel like everybody knows it's just mostly for sound you don't get that much of a benefit from it some people will say you get five horsepower but that's that's a lie um, basically if you don't know this um, when you're modifying cars the only way you're gonna get a power gain is if you are um, removing a bottleneck so if your intake is rated for 300 horsepower and you're not making anywhere near 300 horsepower upgrading to a new intake is not going to get you any more power uh just because it's like that wasn't the bottleneck that wasn't what was restricting your power so and then same thing as like if you upgrade your turbo to a bigger turbo but you have the same bolt-ons you might squeak a little bit of power out but you're still going to be restricted to that intake that's you know suffocating the power so uh, you'd probably get 300 horsepower if your intake's rated for 300 horsepower, but that's as much as you're gonna get from that. Basically what the stages are is they're supposed to kind of, you know, work your way through those bottlenecks. So stage one is like the most restrictive, and then stage two gets rid of the second most restrictive, and then you just kind of work your way through it. So that's what we're starting with, um, essentially stock car. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to do a virtual dyno um, and we're gonna get like a estimated uh, horsepower rating and then we're also going to do um, some drag strip pulls or some uh, some runs down the eighth mile drag strip so this will give us a baseline for what a stock Subaru Outback does uh, it also has a six-speed in it so um, you know I don't, I don't know how much that affects the actual how it puts its power down but um, this is the baseline uh, it's not exactly stock but it's close enough i think and the car is pretty slow right now so i think it's a very good comparison as to as to stock so we're about to do a virtual dyno pull for the stock ecu so for stock or for virtual dyno what we need to log is the rpm which is engine speed the manifold relative pressure corrected which is the boost pressure throttle opening angle that's so it knows your full throttle and then uh, the air fuel sensor so we get the air fuel ratio and then I just added knock some on there because I want to watch that as well. So we're going to go do a log. Uh, we'll probably do a pull from 3000 to red line and uh, see what kind of numbers it pulls up. And maybe we'll do a second one just to compare the results. According to the virtual dyno um, and this might not be like exactly accurate I have the weight such a three three hundred uh, thirty seven hundred uh, tire diameter set correct gear ratio set up as a STI sedan because that's what my transmissions from but the weight is the same as my vehicle this run says that it made 184 wheel horsepower and 197 foot-pounds of torque considering 
the car advertised horsepower is 250 considering the uh you know parasitic loss of the six-speed manual transmission that number is in the ballpark i would say i think it's pretty close all right so we are at uh, verona eight mile drag strip today we're going to be testing the difference between a stock tune and a stage zero tune um so right now the setup is i got the stock tune on it still so everything is stock except it has the stage two cams still um and the the forged block and stuff but everything that's like a bolt-on that is making power is stock now so we're gonna run it as is with the stock tune from subaru just for the sake of science uh we have a full tank of gas so in the future when i do tests with the other stages and stuff i'll also do a full tank of gas just to keep things consistent um so we're gonna go run some test runs and get our baseline runs done kind of fun to see um, how slow the car is stock it kind of gives me an idea of you know how far I came with the, the car 
Um, so just to kind of go over our results. Um, so the baseline with the stock tune, we were making 184 wheel horsepower and 197 foot pounds of torque to the wheels. Um, and averaging the three runs that we did at the drag strip at the eighth mile, our average eighth mile time was 10.77 seconds, which is very slow. Um, so those are our baseline results. Next video, I'm going to be doing a um, the same procedure, but we're gonna be doing the stage zero. So stage zero is just gonna be a tune. We're not gonna change out any of the components. Um, so we're gonna see how much time we can pick up just with the tune. Um, so stay tuned for that video that will be coming up next. If you liked the video, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Uh, if you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you know of somebody who might find this video series interesting, please share that with them. It helps out a lot. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.